believe in you? Welcome to my world, buddy. Rocco, nobody's giving you no title shot. I know that. I don't want one. So this isn't a mental disturbance? No. You're mad because they took down your statue? No. <laughs> Not really, no. If it's about money, just hang a sign around your neck saying, punch me. Five dollars, you make big money. <laughs> what? You haven't peaked yet? Peaked? Yeah, peaked. I don't know. There's still some stuff in the basement. What basement? In here. Tell me about the stuff. What about it? Tell me about the stuff inside. Is it angry? Angry? Are you mad because Adrian left you? She didn't leave, Paul. She died. OK. OK, OK, OK. <sighs> you know, so, sometimes it's hard to breathe. You know, I feel like this beast inside me. It's OK, Rocco. Please, it's OK. Is it? OK. I, you know, I just never knew it was supposed to be this hard. It wasn't supposed to be like this, Paul, you know? <sighs> I said, you want to come by and help me train? I got a job here. I understand. Remember you said if you stay one place long enough, you become that place? Rocco, this is all I got. I understand, boy. I do. <sighs> well, if you get time, maybe come down and see me trade. I appreciate it. Uh, of course, Rocco. <sighs> Bye, Polly. Goodbye, Rocco. <laughs> Take care, Rocco. Do you still have stuff in the basement? I love this scene. Here is Rocky confiding with Paulie at Paulie's work. An abattoir, meat slaying factory, and here sits Paulie painting Bambi. The abattoir is empty. Empty of meat, people, life. It's sterile, cold, and alone. He sits isolated, painting primary colours with slashes of orange and black outlines. Bambi, the painting, is looking lovingly at Rocky with her ears attentive to his cry. She is smiling knowingly. Paulie is blind to where he is. What is so beautiful is that Rocky was intuitive within. There was a fight going on inside of him. Rocky knew what it was and he knew what it wasn't. This is really fundamental, knowing your why. It wasn't his ego that needed to be stroked again. He wasn't thinking about the money. It wasn't a reaction against something or someone he had lost. He wasn't trying to prove himself to others or even himself. He recognised he has more in him to give and it's scaring the heck out of him. What was inside of him was bigger than him. All he had to do was say yes, and he did. Rocky was hoping to have his cheer squad join him. Unfortunately, many might have to start the journey alone. Maybe it's a test. How much do you really want this when no one else sees what you see? Remember, this is just the beginning, not the end. Paulie was good. He was encouraging. He just didn't have the same drive or guts to do with it. Like he said to Rocky, you begin living in a place too long and you become a part of it. Which one are you? Are you living in the basement or are you being moved to action by what's going on in the basement? <laughs>